If you send me out of South Carolina with a victory, there will be no stopping us. Joe Biden in desperate need of a win betting big in South Carolina. The former vice president staking his candidacy on a major win in the state, one that could give him much needed momentum to challenge Bernie Sanders' frontrunner status. Why do you think that Bernie Sanders has been able to convince so many people, especially so many young people, that he's their guy? Well, Bernie has done a very good job of working this for the last five or six years. And, you know, and it's really appealing when you're in a situation where you're struggling to pay for your college tuition, when you're having difficulty being able to get health care, et cetera, that I, just to promise you everything. And so I think that as people begin to look at what's going on, they're going to have a slightly different view. And look, the idea that uh, um, there's going to be this revolution, Americans aren't looking for revolution. They're looking for progress. But, Mr. Vice President, some, some seem keen on a revolution. Well, some do, but look at the numbers. He's not going to come anywhere near generating the kind of participation of young folks that Barack did in 2008. There's no evidence of that yet. Bernie Sanders won Nevada, won New Hampshire, came in a close second in Iowa. He's expected to finish second or third here in South Carolina. If he does, how can you then continue to make the claim that he's not electable? Because I talked to all the people who are in those states that we have to win. Find me someone running for the Senate in North Carolina who wants him to campaign for him. Find somebody in Texas who wants him to campaign for him. I know Joe. We know Joe. But most importantly, Joe knows us. South Carolina kingmaker Congressman Jim Clyburn throwing his weight behind Biden just days before the state's primary. But when it comes to another key endorsement. I know you don't talk about your, your private conversations with the president, but why hasn't he at least sent up a smoke signal to let folks know that Joe Biden is his guy in this fight? Well, look, um, number one, I asked him early on not to endorse. You regret that? <laughs> no, because I think, look, from the very beginning, as you know, I've been viewed, he's vice president, he thinks this is his. He thinks he's entitled. He thinks he's the guy who thinks it's automatically his. I have to earn this myself. If you are not the nominee, what does that then say about the Democratic Party? It says to me that we have uh, moved away from our roots. We have always stood for a multi-ethnic, multi-racial, multi-dimensional party. My basis of support has always been uh, uh, working class folks who are white and black and the black community and high school educated people who just deserve a shot. The former vice president determined to win, but not at the cost of changing his beliefs. I tell everybody who's ever come to me as a young candidate, know what's worth losing over. What are you willing to lose over? What are you willing to lose over? I'm willing to lose over race. I'm willing to lose over health care. I'm willing to lose over the idea that we're gonna, we have to deal with global warming. I don't want the job of I have to go in there and say, I'm changing my position on race. I'm changing my position on guns. I'm changing my position.